this this loan is going to be benefiting a lot of people here in the community and and those that can't afford home ownership home ownership now can be possible through the city of fresno hundred thousand dollar forgivable loan and so without further ado i'm going to go ahead and present this uh presentations for today which is going to go over the mortgage assistance program that is being offered by the city of fresno so the mortgage assistance program is funded by the california department of housing and community development the program offers a deferred silent second loan to assist families with purchasing their first home the highlights you can borrow up to a hundred thousand dollars the loan is forgivable in 15 years there is no monthly loan fees no minimum cash contribution requirements and the qualifications is that you have to be a prospective uh, first-time home buyer have not owned a home in the past three years meet the income requirements you have to complete an eight, eight hour home buyer education class you also have to have the property must be located in the city of Fresno and it must be the buyer's principal residence and be a single family residence so on May 25th 2023 the Fresno mayor announced a hundred thousand dollar forgivable loan for Fresno home buyers the city of Fresno mortgage assistance program will provide down payment assistance the city's second mortgage loan will be a 15-year forgivable deferred payment loan so what that means is that you will have two loans one will be your um, primary loan or which we call your uh, first lien and then this one will be a second lien which would be like a silent but it would be up to a hundred thousand dollars with a zero percent interest rate you know this is a pretty good loan product you know considering that the dream for all equity appreciation 20% uh, down payment you know ran out in 10 days this one is a little bit more higher than that as we get more into detail I will explain why this is a little bit more money um, for the down payment assistance than the dream for all equity shared appreciation loan so the down payment um, loan will provide homeowners home ownership for 50 to 70 Fresno low-income households that meet the Fannie Mae AMI of fifty eight thousand three hundred and twenty dollars for the home ready but however if if you do the science and really look at the statistics you know this can actually double if those people that would uh, you know apply for this program would take into considerations all of the factors that I have presented with this uh, presentation today so for the year of 2023 the maximum FHA loan for Fresno County is four hundred and seventy two thousand and thirty in areas with lower housing costs FHA loan applicants must have a minimum FICO score of a 580 to qualify for the low down payment advantage which is currently at 3.5 percent if your credit score is below 580 then the down payment requirement is going to be 10 percent you know this assistance that the city of Fresno is uh, offering as if you calculate it on uh, these parameters uh, is up to 21.183 percent of the loan of a uh, FHA uh, conventional conforming or FHA conforming loan of 472,030 you know that's pretty that's pretty huge so out of four hundred and seventy two thousand dollars you can get a hundred thousand dollars down payment assistance and if you do a hundred thousand of that that's roughly twenty one point one eight three percent so your borrowers can use the assistance for a minimum required investment for closing costs and or prepaid items you know you can apply for this loan without a down payment with down payment assistance uh, with the FHA loan limits to apply is 472 030 um, and so Fannie Mae you know Fannie Mae area medium lookup tool if you just Google Fannie Mae and look for the area median income lookup tool then you can do your own research and see that the 80 percent AMI is going to be uh, the 58,320 but I did a little bit more math for you and made it more simpler to understand you know what is the Fannie Mae uh, ADMI uh, area median income lookup tool so basically this loan is going to be based off of that tool where 80 percent is going to get divided by uh, of your income into 12 months so if you take you know the area median income uh, and you calculate the DTI of 45 percent so here's an example if you take 58,320 and you divide it by 12 that gives you a monthly income that you cannot exceed a four thousand eight hundred and sixty and if you multiply that by forty five percent that gives you a, a monthly um, housing payment of two thousand one hundred eighty seven dollars 
and that has to include your interest, principal, property tax, and your PMI. But if you put down more than 20%, then you eliminate your uh, PMI insurance, which determines your borrower's capacity and ability to make interest and principal payments on a loan using his or her disposable income or cash flow. Now you can find out how much house you can borrow before you start looking and how you can make the strongest offer possible on a property you choose. So this is something that you don't want to wait around and uh, kind of, you know, procrastinate and sit on the sidelines because, you know, not a lot of people in Fresno even heard about the Dream for All Equity Appreciation Program. And so, you know, this is not about getting pre-qualified. You know, I recommend you get pre-approved, submit your tax returns, your income documents, your paycheck stubs. So, you know, out the gate that you can go ahead and be uh, applying and submitting offers for homes and using this uh, down payment program to help you get in the home. Now, what documents should you have when you're contacting a loan officer? When initially contacting a loan officer, you want to have the list of documents and information available to help answer questions that, that they will ask you. You have to have your pay stubs for the last 30 days, bank statements for your last three months, employment history, and previous tax returns for two years. You'll also be required to complete a home buyer education requirement. You know, many government sponsored entities firmly believe that homeowners, that home buyers' education and counseling is critical to the success and happiness of a homeowner and require home buyer education and counseling for first time home buyers using an FHA program. Who has to take this home buyer education and counseling? Only one occupying first time borrower on each loan transaction. How do you take the education counseling course? You can do it online. There's an e-home eight hour home buyer education and counseling course uh, that's only online. Uh, and it's a course accepted by Cal FHA and the fee is $99. There's other online courses like Frameworks and HomeView. You know, they're not acceptable because they don't provide a one hour one-on-one -on -one counseling and a follow-up session. There's also an in-person or virtual live home buyer education and counseling in person or virtually through Neighborhood Works of America or any HUD approved housing counseling agency and their fees vary by agency. You know, first time home buyers should also be aware of the negative equity because borrowers will not be able to access home equity for five to six years. And if the market takes a downward turn, then homeowners will not be able to refinance or make any improvements for eight to 10 years on average, home appreciation is 4.6% annually for the appreciation. Now, why does this matter? Well, you know, this is going to be a long-term commitment here. And so, you know, this loan is not going to be forgiven for up to 15 years. And if anything happens and things change in your life and you need to refinance or, you know, for any other reasons, then, you know, you're going to not have any home equity, which, you know, you're going to be upside down in equity. And here's an example. So if you had purchased a home for 375000 and you put down, you know, the equity appreciation was, um, you know, 4.6%, then every year it's going to appreciate by 17250 And if you had $100,000 down payment assistance and you divide up that by the equity appreciation of every year of 17250 you know, it would take you five years and seven months to be able to refinance your home and repay the down payment assistance because as you know, the, more, the interest rates now are not going to be the same interest rate five to seven years from now. You know, they're going to drastically change. And if you decide you wanted a lower interest rate, you know, then that's going to be something that you're going to have to make that decision on. The category two, if you took a $75,000 down payment assistance and you divided that by 17250 then it's going to take you four years and three months to refinance, uh, or at least build enough home equity to refinance the home and repay your down payment assistance. The category three is if you took a $50,000 down payment assistance, then it's going to take you two years and eight months to build enough equity to refinance the home and repay the down payment assistance. And the category four, if you took a $25,000 down payment assistance, then it will take you one year and four months to build enough equity to refinance your home and repay your down payment assistance back. And so this is a long term commitment that requires an in-depth understanding. And what is negative equity? Negative equity occurs when the value of an asset you own is less than the outstanding balance on the loan. You may have a lender refer to a loan with a negative equity as underwater or upside down. But but wait, um, since most lenders 
won't loan you money that that your home is worth how is negative equity possible let's say you want to buy a home worth 375,000 and you have a 20% down payment assistance of 75,000 and 3 3.5% earnest money deposit um, which is going to total you $13,125 you visit a lender close on a loan and take the mortgage worth $286,000 875 the day you close on your loan you have $13,125 in equity you paid your lender so 13,125 of that 75,000 you know is the city of Fresno's down payment assistance program that's forgivable in 15 years and your home is worth 375,000 fast forward a year and your local housing market has taken a negative turn though you've only paid another $4,364 in your mortgage principal payments interest and taxes off your principal off your loan principal your home is now worth 352,500 so therefore you know you went from owning a, from purchasing a $375,000 home that was worth 375 to now it possibly if the market took a downturn worth 352,500 however your original loan that you took when your home prices were higher is still in place and you owe your lender $286,875 including a silent second mortgage of 75,000 the principal loan amount is totaling 361,875 in this example you have a thirteen thousand one hundred and twenty five dollars in negative equity because you owe your lender thirteen thousand one hundred and twenty five thousand one hundred twenty five dollars more than your home is worth and so you know if you can contact me and I'll be able to provide you a mortgage equity calculator you know I'm a mortgage loan officer my NLMS ID is one three seven oh six seven six you can contact me at three three seven five nine nine zero or feel free to email me at home loans at MKG Enterprises Corp dot com or visit us on the web at MKG Enterprises Corp dot com you know and this information well this material has been prepared for informational purposes only and is not intended to provide and should not be relied on for tax legal or accounting advice you should consult your own tax legal and accounting advisor before engaging in any transaction neither has the city of Fresno endorsed this video and the views and opinions are not expressed by government sponsored enterprises so that's everything that I have to say about the city of Fresno hundred thousand dollar forgivable loan you know we're still debating if well, at least we're evaluating if we're going to be participating in this and so you know it's going to be up to the lenders as well as our uh, investors if this is an appetite for them but this is going to be part one of the city of Fresno $100,000 forgivable, $100, forgivable loan um, which is you know in 15 years it's a deferred down payment loan you know once again I think it's a good option uh, for those that missed out on the equity shared appreciation loan it's actually giving you more than 20 percent it's actually giving you 21 percent and above if you choose to take you know the full amount or the $75,000 amount or the 50000 or the 25000 whichever you choose you know you have a lot of options on the table to decide and think over but this is something you just don't want to be rushed through and not knowing you know what the pros and cons is of uh, having equity and no equity in your home and if you like to speak with a loan mortgage loan officer you know you can feel free to contact me at 559-337-5990